Hello, fans of Ultima Online. This is my fifth video. This time I want to show you how to enter um, Bedlam, which is a very nasty dungeon in Malas, more specifically in Umbra, which is the capital city of the um, dark part, the uh, necromancer part of Malas. Um, I will start at Luna because you have to remember this guy, Goro the Major, for the quest you need for entering um, the Bedlam dungeon. So remember this guy. Both places you have to visit for um, doing the quest can be easily accessed by um, switching through uh, between Luna and Umbra through this moon gate. So first of all you have to go to the first quest giver which is uh, standing right in front of the place where we later want to start our adventure down in Bedlam. You have to fly or run or walk to this very place. Um, and right in the front of this place, there is this guy, this woman, Ernia, um, the mistress of admissions. You have to um, talk to her and afterwards go back to the major of Luna. Um, and you have to travel between th those two quest givers a couple of times and to collect some stuff like uh, Kirin brains, unicorn ribs and pixie legs, which are easy to get at uh, face bones in Ilchenar or in Malas. You can Google that on some charts. You can simply buy the parts you need for the quests. And after you have um, finished the quest, you can enter Bedlam and the uh, entrance of the Bedlam dungeon is right here. I will show you how to get in there and how to stay alive there and how to get your keys. So the entrance to the Bedlam dungeon is right here. This uh, Iron Maiden, um, you have to double click it and you can enter the uh, really dangerous and nasty place down there. But before we enter, <coughs> let me just explain some details. Um, the place we're entering soon is um, full of um, monsters and especially um, like undead monsters and uh, a couple of uh, minor um, bosses who have quite a good amount of hit points and are, can be quite nasty, especially the spellcasters like the Lich in the little graveyard. Um, and some others. Um, you have to collect five of those disintegrating thesis notes. I prepared the place uh, for today and collected four of, th of them so that we just have to get another one to be ready. Um, the first part of the quest I've showed you is just for entering Bedlam. The second part you have to get down there. I will show you where to get the quest and afterwards I show you how to get the disintegrating thesis notes. One thing is really important, if you ask me, it's quite a good idea to stay close to the entrance so that you can run back in case you die because it's likely that you die and get yourself rest by these guys here, Coley in the blood letter, blood letter or Lamar the blood letter guild master, they can rest you so that uh, you can back, go back and, uh, into the place and, um, and get your stuff. This is especially important on Siege Perilous where we don't have um, insurance, otherwise your stuff is lost soon. And that can be quite nasty. Um, I would recommend to stay close to the door because of another fact, one or two of the minor bosses you need f uh, for getting those disintegrating thesis notes are spawning quite close to the door so that you don't have to run around through the mob and to kill all those minor bosses. It's enough to concentrate on the easiest of them in order to get all five. I think in some it takes about an hour to get all those five notes and that's why I think Bedlam is not that attractive. It may be regarded as attractive because the boss of Bedlam, the, the Grizzle, is quite an easy kill. It's not that hard to kill, but getting the keys is nasty. I don't like it, but I show you, nevertheless. Okay, let's have a look at what is going on here. Lady Jennifer is under siege. <sighs> I think those three are the easiest, Lady Jennifer, Lady Mariah and Sir Patrick, uh, because um, they are not 
spell casting the hell out of uh, uh, out of you. Remember, you just need five of those thesis notes. Just as uh, well said, well, it's not really easy to get five of them. It takes a while. Let's have a look. There are only skeletes, uh, skeletal knights and skeletons, so I think we can do some damage on Lady Jennifer. Okay, disturbed. Not the best idea, as you can see. Wrong spell. That was really not very professional, um, but no harm done. Okay, she will be dead soon. Here we go, and let's hope that she offers the thesis note. Yes, here we go, number five. That was some luck, if you ask me yesterday for preparing this hunt I needed a lot more of time and a lot more of try. need to be, be, before we um, collect those um, those keys we usually have to speak to Master Cohen the library librarian who is um, telling us how to um, enter the dungeon the quest uh, the, the peerless place the quest is called misplaced we have to give him yeah we have to first mark to mark the quest items right um, toggle quest item one two three four five and now we have to talk to he to him and uh, he will now give us the librarian's key yeah yeah, here we go. Here's the librarian's key. This is the one we need. And now we have to uh, go to the place we can drop the key. We are followed by Lady Marai. Really nice. Thank you for following me, but I don't have time to bother with you. And we have to drop the library librarian's key on this table. And then we can enter the um, Bedlam dungeon. I will show this to you. Here we go, and we get three master keys, blessed master keys, which allow us to go into the dungeon. Um, and now I want to show you how the place looks like inside. Um, here we go. This is the place where uh, the monstrous internet grizzle spawns. It's running right upstairs here between the, uh, um, the bookshelves it's standing here. And it's not a really or too hard fight. It's a fun fight, and thank uh, and I think uh, you, with two or three intelligent intelligent people, you will be it will be done within a few minutes. Just have to um, look for this yellow stuff. He's dripping dripping on the ground, just dripping from his uh, body on the ground. It's like a kind of acid that burns your stuff and that uh, damages your equipment. Um, better to stay out of his range. Okay, I will try to kill him now for myself. I hope you had some fun with me. Thank you for watching this video and um, see you soon.